about to do the testimonies for the reality show. Got Miss Malibu Barbu who slept. Takes about an hour to get here. Got this cute little sweater on from Unique Vintage. The juicy bag. Yeah, hopefully the makeup looks okay. I did my own makeup today. But this lighting is pretty cute. This is the dressing room. It's really cute. I love the neon lights. They got all these old Hollywood stars, which is really cute. App is doing the interviews, so we're just hanging out. How are you guys gonna be? Oh, you can't do so. Good morning, guys. We're getting our coffee run. You know how we do in the morning. I'm just gonna get like a little iced chai tea latte because I'm not doing anything today. I just wanted to get coffee. For you. Hi, yes. Um, can I get a grande iced chai tea latte, please? Hi, anything else? That's it. It's up here. Okay, thank you. I'm getting a little one because I'm not actually like filming or doing anything today, which is great. It's the first day off I've had in literally two and a half weeks of like not filming, not glamming, not filming for myself, not filming for the show. Um, and I am really excited about it because. I've been putting in the work. It's been long days, y'all. It's been so much fun. Like I've never done a reality show like this where they do like a follow me around style. And it is like really exhausting. And sometimes I think I'm just like not that interesting. And like, thank God there's like other couples on the show. So it's not like just reliant on us. Cause I just don't really find our day to day interesting, which I love. I love, I've talked about it so many times. I like contentment. I like routine. I like just doing, you know, what I know. So anyways, but they do put you in situations where like, what we normally wouldn't do but i love it like yesterday we had a play date with you know a lot of the cast members had babies so we had like a little play date with the babies which was super fun my coffee out one sec. hi good how are you good okay yes yeah thank you so much you too I love the, I love how they always ask, like, answer the question on the screen, which is just like a tip. If you, they, usually it's like, if you want to leave a tip, right? I don't care. I mean, I guess that's a more classy way to ask. So it's not like awkward. Like you just answer the question on the screen, you know? Um, but again, I like it cause I never have cash with me. I do, but it's always like twenties, which I could take 20. Um, but let me just pull over real quick. Yes. And also, mm, mm, I have a spot on my face, which I haven't had those in so long. And I wasn't even saying anything about it cause I wasn't trying to jinx it. <clears throat> But yeah, that's annoying. Um, but it's been so much fun. Okay, I'm gonna just take a minute and just like have this coffee because I just it's been nonstop. But yeah, they do, you know, there's like parties that they set up and there's a party we're throwing, and um it's you know, I went to like a ski resort over the weekend. Um, one of the cast members has this nice house in the mountains, so um they hosted us there and it was actually kind of like a girl's trip, which is like something I haven't done ever in my life, and it actually was so much fun. Like I did not know these cast members that well. We met briefly at a party um, and we all of a sudden did a girl's trip down to, or up to the mountains, I should say. <laughs> Without the feet. <laughs> <laughs> Without the feet. Because like there was a car that was like blocking me in and maybe, it never know if they just like wanna like think about saying hi or whatever, but I just don't like being blocked in like that where I can't reverse. So I went forward and moved to the car. Anyways, it's probably fine, but I just, oh, I don't like being blocked in like that. So yeah, it was, I really got to like know all of them so much better. And it was so fun. Like when I tell you, it was like the most fun I've like had in like a really long time. Like it was so fun. Everyone was like so nice. We got so deep and like talked about pregnancy and being a mom for the first time. And like the stuff that no one talks about, like how overwhelming it can be and how much more difficult like it is you know and just like having those like conversations it was so nice and we're all so different and I just I don't know we were like crying by the end of it it was so fun so cute it was just like a good time and I'm just like so, I'm really so um thankful for this opportunity like you know more like truly truly because I would say you know I'm tired but like thankful for opportunity because I just keep saying that to myself but I'm truly so thankful like yesterday when they came over with their babies it was just like so like so fun I felt 
like, oh, this is what it's like to have friends. And, and no one like cares about like, you know, everyone has like a nice, a good job, right? Everyone has a nice lifestyle, but no one talks about it. No one cares about it, right? No one cares that I'm an influencer. No one cares, you know, and it, not in a bad way, but like, you know, there's another person that produces like big Hollywood events. And like, we don't talk about that kind of stuff. You know, it's just really like our lives and who we are. And, um, like, I'm going to just be straight up. And I think this is like such a beautiful thing. Like, I really am like a support character. So there's like a bunch of main characters, my, Moses being one of the main characters. Um, and I'm like happy to be his, you know, partner on this like, plus one. So, you know, a lot of them were the main characters of the show. And so it was just nice to get to know them and like their story because, they are also inspiring and they're also great. And like for, for me, I really just love to be a part of that about something. So because the whole show is positive. I need to drink this by the way. The whole show is like very, very positive and like, it's just, it's, it's supportive. It's real. And it's just, it, there's no like drama. There's no nothing like that. Everyone just like truly loves each other and gets along and, it's so beautiful because like I said, we're also like, we're, everyone's very different, including like the stars, the castmates, they all have like something in common, but they're also very different. And it's just very, it's just very interesting, fun. I feel like so blessed to be a part of it. Like so blessed because it's just like, it's so beautiful. It's so wonderful. And, um, they're all extremely like hard workers and like, it just, I don't know, because I'm just so wrapped up in, like, influencers and LA, and I've been like that for so long, you know, you start to think, like, oh my god, everything's social media and likes and this and that, and it's just, it's just fun, I don't know how to, I don't know how to describe it, and I, like I said, I never thought of myself of doing a reality show like this, where they, like, follow your day-to-day -day and, you know, interact with the cast members, because I just, I never, you know, I'm, I'm very socially awkward, and I, I'm introverted, I'm an extra, extroverted introvert, you know, I like to be by myself, I like to be at home, but not only has this like pushed me to like go out of my shell, but like I found myself like loving it and seriously making like lifelong friends from it. Um, which is like, I don't, I don't say that lately. Like these are like good, good people that know everything. Like they do know I, cause I shared, I shared a lot, you know, too. Like, and I would share some of my story and my past and stuff like that. Things I'm not proud of. And everyone's just so, so supportive. Like, it's amazing. Beautiful things have happened. I've been so busy that I really don't have time to, like, give thought to anything online, social media. People hate me. I'm worried about this. I'm, and because I've been so free of any thought, bad thought, good thought, I've just been busy with life, things just have just opened up. I feel I've opened up. I feel like the universe has opened up with, like, opportunity. Like, I'm ready to receive. I'm, I'm open. Like, and I was like, I was blocked off for so long and I was blocking myself off and it just feels so nice, including the documentary. I feel like that's already opened so many beautiful things in the universe and it's helped me so much in so many ways and just ways that I'm just, you know, I have inner peace with, you know, there's nothing that I even need to talk about or say, you know, it's just, it's just so many beautiful things happening when you just don't give thought. Like if, if you don't give thought to something, it doesn't exist. And maybe someone says that's like living in la la land or, you know, ignorant or, privilege but truly like just don't give energy don't give thought to something because then it just simply doesn't exist if you don't give a bad thought to something then there's no bad thoughts you know what I mean and it's okay if they pop in your head but just don't give time to it and it's fine if these things like technically exist it's fine so um anyways all that to say it's been beautiful and this has been the true test because I've really just been like wow everything seems to be opening up when I'm like very busy very occupied I'm exhausted by the end of the day and look, there, there's, there are long days where I'm like so tired, but then I'm like, and the next morning I wake up and I'm so excited about it. And to be honest, when it's all over, which will be at the end of this month, end of April, we still have a good, you know, a few weeks left. But when it's all done, I'm going to be sad. I'm going to miss this, the schedule and then the crew. Oh my God. So beyond wonderful, accommodating. It is not like reality shows here in America. I did one in the UK. It's, they are so accommodating and so nice tell us if everything's is everything okay if everything's not okay please tell us like they've been so nice they've planned like little surprises like for me and I'm not even like a, a star of the show or anything like that like just really wonderful things that I'm going to get emotional about it but it's it's a very different experience than I've ever had on reality shows I'm so happy that not only are we doing it together but like Moses gets like his time to shine he's so wonderful 
and his story is wonderful and um I'm happy to be a part of it. My mom and sister have been a part of it. We, you know, we've been filming, we filmed Passover. We've been filming everything, doing Moses the Musical and, you know, parties and stuff. So it's been great. There's still so much more to come, which I'm super excited about. And um, it's just been a really nice thing to do. And it's just been amazing and beautiful. And I'm so happy I'm a part of it. And the people, I'm just, I'm going to be sad. I'm going to be sad when it's over. So I'm really trying to just be in the moment and enjoy it. And even the times that I get tired or exhausted, I'm like, just enjoy this moment, be in it. All right, let's go. We're actually like, I'm not filming today, but Moses actually is. So we're going to try and go out to lunch before. It's also worth noting that Moses' friend was the one who told us about the show. Like she knew someone who was producing the show and that's how we got on. We kind of got on last minute. We just did interviews like maybe a month prior to filming. So we kind of got in like last minute with it. Um, so yeah, it's, it was cool how it all happened. Like it wasn't like I was out seeking it or this, you know, it was very cool how it just like organically happened. And um yeah, it's been great. Anyways, okay, we're gonna go through again. I, when I was said I was going to the mountains this weekend, this was my little purse because I had the Hello Kitty suitcase, the big one. This is from Blinged Up, which I think is so cute. Um, so I use this as like my purse and I haven't really like unpacked it. You can see I have like perfume and hair ties, charger. So I just took this instead of my purse, it just matched cuter. And inside are these pictures of Moses when he was in Israel. And I'm just so proud of my husband. I love him. I, uh, he's gorgeous. I always think he's gorgeous. He's literally like when I, when I first met him, that was the first thing I just remember thinking like, oh my God, he is way too hot for me. I've always dated and this is like no shade, but like not the pretty type, you know, not the, not a traditionally like beautiful person, you know, they, they had good personalities or whatever. I thought they were attractive. I'm not, I'm not shading them. Obviously I found them attractive. I've dated them, but you know, let me order this real quick. Hello, welcome to Starbucks. What can I get for you? Hi, yes. Can I get a venti hot mocha with just two pumps mocha, please? All right. And that's it. All right. I'll see you soon. Okay, thank you. Um, so, but Moses was like one that I was like, oh, wow, this guy is like, like really hot. And like, I don't think that I like, it was definitely never anyone I've dated. And it was really just because I, I would look at him and think he'd be definitely not interested in me. He was very artsy, um, very intelligent and like, not to say I'm not intelligent, but I'm intelligent in like a very different way. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know how it happened or what, but I scored me a hottie. So I brought pictures, um, of him in, when he was living in Israel and this is Moses when he was like, maybe like 20, I guess, 21, like, Oh my God, how cute is he? He actually found a lot of these like older pictures of him and I just think he looks so dang handsome like oh my gosh like I high school Trish would have like oh my god just like absolutely swooned over him <sighs> anyways I just think it's really cute so I put those in there because I was gonna be away and I was just like you know what I want to take pictures and they just happened to be the ones we had out because he's like taking old photos out so I was like let me just take these because we don't really have any of us like printed out um so yeah I don't know this whole experience here has just made me like love him so much more like every day I love him more like marriage is like so weird that way parenthood is so weird that way I just like fall more and more in love with him every day he's like I find I still find out new things about him that I'm just like in awe of it like impress it I'm just like wow you are amazing and um yeah he's just he's just great and he's still great he still brings me breakfast every morning in bed and it's just like he's so <sighs> he's just amazing so anyways um my mom's texting me, so I gotta see what she's saying because um, she actually had a date. Uh, like, a, a, I think it was her second or third date with this guy who I found a Bumble when we were down in San Diego at the beginning of February. I was like swiping on her Bumble for her. We were all at dinner, like swiping. And uh, I was like, I swiped on him and I was like, oh my gosh. And he was like the first to reply. And I was like, I like this guy. And she had like her third date with him, and I'm like really excited for her. Hi! Oh my gosh. How are you? Good. How are you? <laughs> Good. <laughs> Michaels, and I would see you in there all the time. No way! Oh my gosh, do you still work there or no? no I, used oh. to I love I love that store. Really? Well, yeah, it might not be the best job, but I love it. The store's great. Your baby. She's good. She's, She's at home. So <laughs> Did you just start here? Yeah. Oh, cool. I come here like every morning. I love this Starbucks. It's my favorite. I'll see you again. <laughs> yes, it's nice to meet you. Thank you. Five sixty-five. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Okay. They were so nice. I love meeting a new Starbucks employee at my favorite Starbucks, and she was super nice. 
people are so nice. Like TikTok, I'm telling you, when you shift your energy and what you focus on, the universe really does shift. It really does. I'm in the parking lot for you guys. Wondering. I swear, like obviously in person, I've always been super nice. But even like on TikTok, I've been seeing so many like old clips of me like come around and people like, oh, I actually understand her. Even if they're like funny troll ones, like I actually get this. Like Trisha was like ahead of her time. I can't believe I have this blemish. I'm not going to focus on it because it doesn't exist then, right? Anyways, so it's been like really nice and positive where like those videos used to get like hate and stuff like that. And not ones where I'm like purposely being hate or mean or something like that like just like funny ones or even ones that like were just misunderstood at the time it's really cool to see on tiktok now like just so many comments there's one that has like literally i'm gonna do at them i think today or maybe tomorrow that has like nine million views and i'm just like that's crazy that's more than any of mine on youtube got tiktok comments are like so nice all mine are so nice like and when you focus on that i just feel like i keep seeing more positivity nice things when i'm out like like fans are just super nice and chill like I don't know what it is like it's changed you know fans used to be like kind of like chaotic like sometimes and not a bad way but you know the kind of like oh you know whatever like knocking on the window kind now they're all like super respectful if I see them on Target they're like hey Trish like you know picture like actually you know when I went through the Chick-fil-A drive through like that day everyone was like just so I had such good energy like hey Trish we love you and so then I just like rolled down my window naturally because I'm like okay like it's not I don't have to question if it's like, okay, is this weird? Is this a hater? Is this aggressive? Whatever. I'm like, oh no, I can tell by their energy. They're being good. Like just, hey, turn thumbs up. They're not like knock on the window, you know, screaming, whatever. So I don't know, like energy has been different and I love it because someone asked me the other day and I think it was part of the show actually. Well, I mean, we're not really supposed to talk about like what we talk about on the show because obviously they want to say before the show, but just like, um, and it was interesting. It was a good question. And it was like interesting. Cause like, he's like, you know, not someone who does social media obviously he's like you know he knew someone who does social media and was like you know um why do people like want to be famous and then once they get famous and people know them they're like oh no don't come around don't take pictures and i was like yeah I was like it's it's interesting because i genuinely do like it like i always think like if i didn't get the attention right if people didn't know me i'd feel some type of way i'd probably like feel insecure and maybe that's like whatever not like whatever but i I, I, I do like it. I like meeting people that watch me videos and that like resonate with me and relate to me and stuff like that. So, but then I was like, I guess it's just like a, there's some aspects that you don't expect, right? Maybe people showing up to your house or something like that, like, because you don't think about them. Right. And then you, you, you're like, okay, it's, I love to be recognized on public, but like in a certain type of way. So I think it's just like, you don't know how to expect. And I think with different levels of fame including social media different levels of social media different levels of whatever like it's it's all different for everyone right me versus Britney Spears is like I can't even imagine her world but even me versus like someone who's like really popular like I don't know like Mr. Beast I don't know I don't even know like the popular YouTubers anymore but or like Addison Rae Charlie D'Amelio like those people you know I which I never see them pop up on my TikTok but I'm sure they're still on it I just you know it's like I'm sure they're doing things but I think there's like different levels to it I, I think you don't know like what to expect until it like is happening and so but there are times i know for sure people just i know people who have just don't want to meet people that watch your videos and stuff and i'm just like you don't want to meet them at all like i get like the different aspects of it but they're like oh no it's just like so annoying and i was like why why do you put out content then because for me and i mean this so sincerely as you guys know my youtube channel like it really it, it just and it's not just mine i'm not even like saying i'm i've i've flopped or whatever i just know everybody on youtube's views are down like youtube is just I, i'm praying there'll be a resurgence there'll be something that you know spikes it again but um but i genuinely like it because there's people on here that really connect that don't have tiktok that have been following me for a long time that are older or whatever um and so i keep making videos because i like the connection and it's cool and then tiktok too like tiktok i I like that I reach 8 million people and more like I have 8 million followers but my TikToks will get 10 to 20 30 million 40 million some of them have you know like it's crazy that I haven't seen like you think about 40 million people watch it like that's never happened on YouTube for me you know I mean it has over the years obviously I've been on YouTube 16 years I mean I think I've had like at 1.2 billion views I don't know like delete videos and I'll probably delete a lot more videos FYI I probably delete a lot more videos because like one, they don't represent me anymore. Two, it's like, you know, that was like a different life. I've, I've, I've deleted so many that it was like, that doesn't feel like me. That's a different life. Like those are, you know, and some people think it's sad. It's like, okay, archive your whole thing. But I'm like, no, I just want a good representation of me. So this channel actually may be going through a lot of changes. 
um, soon, sooner than later. Especially if I do the podcast, we talked about maybe putting the podcast on this main channel, which is good and bad in a way because maybe this ch channel shadow banned. Maybe this channel, you know, just no one's watching this channel. But maybe it does because here's the other thing, right? Because I say, oh, shadow banned. You know me. I'm always like, you're not shadow banned. You're just boring, which, <laughs> yes, okay. But um, because I, I was like, oh, you know, maybe though, because YouTube changes content policies and I used to do obviously like a lot more like adult themed videos. But more likely I'm just boring too <laughs> now on here anyways. Um, but then, cause like I said, I do like when I posted my labor and delivery video, it has like a million views, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, we'll see. I don't know. We'll see where it's going to live. I'm not really sure. We're like, I, it's happening. It's happening. It's just like so many like finalizing details and stuff like that. But all right, guys, I'm going to go. Thank you so much for getting coffee with me this morning focus on the good and that's I say that all the time and I sometimes I don't sometimes I still like will read bad and I'm like okay no seriously like just it's so hard like it's so hard sometimes to not like log in and like look what people are saying but just don't focus on it and just try and find something to focus on instead because right now all my focus has been on this reality show and the friendships and just supporting Moses and all that stuff like that and that's it's been the biggest blessing in my life I was like oh this is great you know, like even today, like Moses will be gone filming a scene and I'll get to have the whole day, which is me in Malibu, which is great, you know, cause I don't feel the pressure to like, I have to make a video, like I'm making a video now, obviously, but then the rest of the day, I don't feel that pressure, you know, because there's just so much other stuff going on. And I'm like, I can just spend the whole day with Malibu cause I, it's a day off and I deserve a day off. And I'm like, yeah, I can just take a day off and not be online and just spend time with her. And fully give her all my attention and stuff it's gonna be so great even when she takes a nap I'm thinking oh I can wash the dishes I can like organize the house a little bit like it's just nice to have that feeling rather than me I gotta go online I gotta make a video I gotta do this you know all right guys I'm done chatting I love you thanks for getting coffee with me and I'll give you details when the oh when are we at oh, everyone asking when the reality show will be okay as of now it's only airing internationally um I <laughs> I actually, actually, one of the people on the show who, like, produces things, um, not the show, but he's, like, a cast member on the show, he's, like, I have a feeling, like, they could sell this, like, Netflix or something, so I didn't even think about that, but, like, how, how cool would that be, because, honestly, I do think it's, like, an amazing show, but for now, it's only gonna air internationally, hopefully, there's, like, a website or something where people can, like, watch it, but it probably won't also air until September, I thought it was going to air this summer, but it's probably not going to air until September, the documentary is supposed to be June, but that also is, like, kind of shifting um because it kind of shifted in a different direction in a good way and um yeah just looking at possible homes for that on streaming services so um hopefully still june hopefully i mean it could it could very well be possible um but yeah i think this reality show will only air internationally and um hopefully there's a way for us to watch it because i definitely want to because we have been doing a lot and it's crazy so all right guys i love you take care of yourself and each other and yeah that's it bye